What up guys, Lars here. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to do an ice pick on a Sabrosis street rail. I got Fran Goes Ham here with What's me. Up, guys? We're gonna be showing you how to do it and give you all the tips and hints. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right guys, the first step to learning an ice pick would be knowing how to double peg. Luckily for you, we've already made a video on how to double peg on the Sabrosis street rail. So just check that video out and then come back here and you'll be on your way to learn your ice picks. All right guys, now uh, to get on to the balancing, uh, first thing is for the bunny hop, instead of like a double peg where you wanna be both tires even in the air, you wanna be leaned back. So as soon as you hop, make sure you're already leaning back. You wanna hit your back peg. As soon as your back peg lands, that's when you start balancing. It's all in your knees. Your knees are gonna be moving around, counterbalancing it, and keeping you at a 45 degree angle. And that's really what a perfect ice pick is, all the way through. This right here is what a real perfect ice pick should look like. All right guys, the first tip to learning an ice pick would be knowing how to do a manual. A manual is very similar to an ice pick in the aspect that the balancing points are almost the same, your positions are about the same too, so you really want to sort of have your manuals down before trying an ice pick. It's not like a, you have to know how to manual before ice pick, but I think it would help in the learning process of doing an ice pick for sure. All right guys, the second step into learning your ice pick grind would be coming at the rail just like a double peg, except for the fact when you bring your front up, you're not gonna level out, you're just gonna drop your knees so the back peg will get on. To balance this, to keep it at the 45 degree angle, you're gonna wanna be moving your knees back and forth because you're gonna be going up and down throughout the whole rail. And then once you're at the end point, you're just gonna wanna slide off and you'll be on your way doing your first ice pick. Another great tip to learning ice picks on the Sabrosa Street Rail would be just doing a little chink at the end and this will help you build the confidence and uh, the technique to keep going through the whole rail. Just start at the end and then once you get that little chink you can move a little farther back and you just keep doing that, you keep moving farther and farther back and eventually you'll be able to ice pick the whole rail. Another great tip to learning how to ice pick on the Sabrosa Street Rail is just bunny hopping in the street and dropping your back and this sort of gives you that feeling of doing a bunny hop and dropping your back peg on the rail, but instead you're just gonna be on the ground, so it's gonna be really safe. Mm. Now that you've gotten some pointers on how to do the ice pick on the Sprosa Street Rail, you can always take it a little farther and do ice pick to, you know, bar, ice pick 180, you could always just change it up. So yeah, let's check out some tricks from Fran and me, Fran and I. You can always add an A-frame kit to the rail, which makes it a lot more fun. Just changes the whole rail setup, makes it into a more of an A shape. And yeah, let's check that out right now. Awesome. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Tune in next week for another how-to on the Sabrosa Street Rail. See you next time. Peace.